we're going to get started a little bit on the, the southern legs. So what we need to practice uh, for a little bit is I want to make sure that you guys have your crescent kicks in. So we're going to do those inside crescent kicks. We're going to do 10 on each side. And so our crescent kick for the inside is where the inside of the foot hits the inside of the hand. You get 10 of these in. Started on that, and then we will come back out and we will review uh, everything that we've already learned up to this point. enough time for you guys to get 10 in on each side. Let's review. So we're going to start here in our opening stance. Turn that left foot in. We're going to release that right leg. That right knee is going to come up and it's going to make a path all the way around. If you're still at a point where you need to put in a hop, go ahead and put that hop in. But try to minimize the number of hops that you have to do in order to do this jump. Get into our 180. And then once we land, we're going to do that crescent kick. Then if you need to do the hops, do the hops, get to your halfway point. We're going to try to minimize those. We're going to try to jump all the way into that 180, get that second crescent kick. And then we're going to strike the bottom of our left foot, strike the bottom of your right foot. We're going to do our flying crescent kick. We're going to go right into that bow stand. Okay? Make fists with those hands. And then we're just going to shift. Push. And then we learn that next move. We're going to circle high with our hand. We're going to hit the side of our leg. We're going to drop and we're going to kick to the side. Good. Let's reset. We'll start here. Turn that foot in. We're going to do that first kick. And we're going to do the second kick. Strike the bottom of the foot. Flying crescent. Shift, push, circle high, and then we're gonna hit the side of our leg, drop, and do that kick. Okay? One more time. We're gonna start here. Turn, try to get that kick in. Get as few hops as you can. And then the next kick, strike the bottom of the foot. Flying crescent, bow stance, shift, push, circle high, we're gonna hit the side of the leg, drop, that kick. Good, okay. Try to do that on your own um, three more times over the next couple of minutes. And then uh, we'll kind of cover that side kick a little bit better.
uh, hopefully you've got uh, a number of chances to practice that. Uh, one of the things uh, we're going to take another look at is the, the kick that we learned on Monday. So, it, Southern Legs is full of a lot of hard moves. Um, every single move that we do in Southern Legs, it, with the, the exception of just a few, require a lot of practice. Um, and for a lot of students, they never really get them the first time. So this kick is going to be another one of those where it kind of looks really simple, but once you actually have to get into it and you're trying to do it correctly, the, the kick actually winds up being a little, little difficult. Um, one of the things that makes this kick a little easier is to have like a really, really low stance because a lot of times what people have a hard time doing is that fall to the floor and catching themselves. So I'm going to uh, kind of show the kick one time um, and then kind of go over some details that are on it that uh, that are very important on it. So we're gonna, we started off, we learned that we have to do this, this swing, we're hitting the side of our leg and the leg is gonna follow our hand forward in front of us. And then when we do this, we're gonna drop to the floor and we're gonna kick. And when we do this drop to the floor, we're not actually landing on the floor um, because we wanna make sure that we're, we're kicking fairly high. This kick is gonna go to somebody's ankles or to their knees. So when we do this kick, we don't want it to be kind of a kick that kind of just lands on the floor or we're trying to do this kick from the floor because if we're going for the knees, this really isn't gonna be a very high kick. So when we do this, we have to land without our body landing on the floor. We have to catch before we land. So because of that, this becomes a fairly difficult kick. It's, it's difficult to do that drop and catch yourself without falling, okay? So the key to landing without your entire body falling is to start with a low bow stance before the kick. So if you're up here and you do the kick, you have a long distance you have to fall. If you start down here with a nice good low bow stance, you don't have as far to fall and it's an easier kick. Okay, so what I want you guys to do is practice I want you to start here, nice low bow stance. We're gonna do that circle, we're gonna hit the leg, and we're gonna drop to the floor without our body dropping to the floor, okay? Do that a few times for the next couple minutes, and then uh, we're gonna come back in, and then we're gonna bow out. in with that kick we're going to run uh, the entire thing up to that point 
uh, just one time, and then we're going to bow out. That will be the end of our Master's Path training. So we're going to start here, very beginning, and we're going to start with that first kick. Second kick, bottom of the foot, another bottom of the foot, flying crescent, bow stance, shift, other bow stance, and then that kick. Okay. Our next move after this um, is going to be from the floor. So once we finish that kick, we're actually going to just going to drop to the floor. Okay. All right. Feet together. Line up and bow out. 